can't forget when you go down home when the sun goes low head off the highway to the painted western sky walk down a worn path through the back door cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm then you sit down Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by chefs from the West and Southwest. From San Francisco, an appetizer by Chef Rick O'Connell. From San Antonio, Texas, an entree by Chef Joaquin Gonzalez. From Houston, a dessert prepared by Chef Robert Del Grande. And home-based cooking from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Chef Robert Del Grande began working at Cafe Annie in Houston in 1981 when it was a French bistro owned by his future sister-in-law and her husband. He became chef and partner and introduced sophisticated Southwestern and American dishes to the menu. His dessert for this program is one of his personal favorites, chocolate cake with roasted banana sauce. This cake involves creaming butter and sugar together, which takes a tremendous amount of patience because it needs to go essentially very slowly so that the, the butter and cream slowly um, work together and get very light and fluffy. So the sugar crystals work their way through the, the butter and bring air into it. If you go very, very quickly at high speed, all you do is mash the butter and sugar together into some sort of dense paste. We want to let it go very, very nicely. And the reason why it takes patience is because it never really seems like it's going anywhere but eventually it'll fluff up and very, very light. So we let it go slowly like that. So while we're doing that, I'm going to make um, a, a chocolate custard that, uh, that is added to the cake that makes it very moist and uh, smooth. And how that is done is essentially by making um, a, a custard cream, a creme, a creme anglaise essentially, of some milk and some cream and a little bit of, of pure vanilla and then some sugar. The butter and sugar mixture will require 15 minutes to cream. Meanwhile, Chef Del Grande chops six Stubborn ounces chocolate. semi-sweet chocolate which he will melt in creme anglaise. Okay, the custard you have to be very careful because like in any custard um, there are essentially two solutions to the recipe. One is a nice, fine custard. The other is scrambled eggs. So you have to stay right with it and work it very quickly. Some people like to do it over, over boiling water in a double boil, which is a good way to do it. Um, doing it with a direct fire like this, as you move it on and off, is fine too. It's a little more exciting because you, know, you live on the edge of danger. And I think that's part of cooking. So I do it in a, in a pot over the open flame, watching it carefully, and it should begin to foam up very nicely. And as you see little bits of steam coming, you move it on the fire and off the fire. Just slowly work it. When the custard is thick and frothy, add the chocolate off heat. To the hot sauce. And then just slowly stir it and allow the chocolate to melt into the custard. This mixture should cool to room temperature. It will be joined with the creamed butter. Chef Del Grande then sifts one and a half cups cake flour, one teaspoon baking powder, and a half teaspoon salt. The butter mixture is ready. I'll show you essentially what this looks like. See, now it's very fluffy, uh, very white. There's no yellow left from the uh, from the the color of the butter. It essentially turns white. It almost looks like a, a thick whipped cream. Two whole eggs are added to the butter, one at a time. We just let this go till it's well mixed. The chocolate custard is then added, and slowly let it bind with the. Uh, 
This is the most exciting part because the chocolate looks so great. At this point, there's a little bit left in the spatula. You leave that in the pot and someone will wash the pot for you. If you clean the spatula, no one will wash the pot, so I leave that there. Then when the mixture is slowly running, we add the flour and the milk. Alternatively, which you add a little bit of flour. And just let it go until it absorbs in. A total of one cup milk will be used. And a little bit of milk. The baking pan has been buttered, the bottom lined with parchment paper and lightly dusted with flour. Shake it just a little bit. And then, I add water to the pan that it's in. just to go up the sides a little ways. This allows it to bake at a more even, cooler temperature and humidifies the oven a little bit because it does have a custard base and it helps it set a little bit. At that point, I'm moving carefully. Bake the cake about one hour at 350 degrees. The accompanying sauce features bananas roasted at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. They have a great flavor. They are mashed by hand. Then I add just a little bit of dark rum to it. Heavy cream and sugar are also added. Adds a nice flavor to them. We add the banana cream. A few crunchy roasted pecans. We have the bananas, the soft cream, and the cake. And then the last minute. Just very small. Sit down. down. 